Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to calculate the gravitational field inside and outside the spherical shell and also inside the material region of the shell. So inside the cavity, outside the shell, and the inside material. Now, from the previous videos, we have three equations that describe the gravitational potential inside the cavity, in the region between A and B, and outside the spherical shell. Now we know that the equation to derive the gravitational field, which is equal to the gravitational acceleration of that field, is going to be equal to the negative of the derivative with respect to the radius or the distance of that gravitational potential. Now when we look inside the cavity, we notice there is no dependency on the radius. This is simply a constant. So when we take the derivative of constant, we realize the gravitational field inside the cavity must be equal to zero, Therefore, there's no gravitational acceleration inside the cavity. Here, on the inside region between the cavity and the outside of the sphere, we see that there is a dependency with the variable r. So when we take the derivative of that, we should get the following. So we still re retain the constant, and maybe I need mess a little bit more room right here. So g on the inside the material is going to be equal to minus 4 pi rho g times, well, the derivative of b squared over 2, that's going to be 0, but the derivative of this is going to be, and of course I need to multiply this times a negative, so let's make that into a positive, because it's the negative of that, and then, so that will be 0, the derivative of this would be um, minus 2r over 6, and the derivative of this, this is r to the negative 1 power, so this becomes minus a cubed divided by 3r squared. So notice that we have two negatives here. Make this into a negative to turn those into a positive. So the gravitational field inside the material portion of the sphere is going to be a minus 4 pi rho g times 2 divided by 6, that's 1 over 3, or r divided by 3. And that would be plus, because we put the negative in front, it would be a cubed divided by 3r squared. And finally, the gravitational field outside the sphere, well, we simply take the derivative of this and multiply times the negative, so it would be plus gm times a negative 1 divided by r squared, or the gravitational field outside the sphere is going to be minus gm over r squared. In other words, that's what we expect to find for any object, if you're outside of it, it'll be gm over the distance squared, a negative because the gravitational acceleration will be towards the object. And so those are the three gravitational fields inside the cavity, inside the region of the sphere, and outside the sphere of that particular arrangement. So that's how we do that.